Hi, my name is Corey, and I'm excited to introduce you to my team. I'm Max. And I'm James. We've been working to understand and analyze relevant Best Buy stakeholders and how they are affected by our, by our company's sustainability efforts. We are excited to be presenting to the Board of Directors. Sustainability is a wide concept which has served as a buzzword in modern business. The definition of sustainability that we will be using today comes from Investopedia and states that sustainability focuses on meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. The concept of sustainability is composed of three pillars, economic, environmental, and social, also known informally as profits, planet, and people. The United Nations outlined 17 sustainable development goals that blueprint a brighter future. And today, we will be focusing on goal 14, life below water. Currently, Best Buy has sustainability measures in place. First, they have a clearly defined list of sustainability goals on their corporate webpage, aiming to reduce carbon emissions 60% by 2020 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. Another successful initiative has been our product recycling program, which hopes to collect 2 billion pounds of electronics and appliances by 2020. Best Buy, has, Best Buy has also instituted a product carbon footprint assessment for its products and supply chain. These efforts have earned Best Buy multiple Energy Star Partner of the Year Sustained Excellence Awards from the Environmental Protection Agency. But there is significant room for improvement. In the following presentation, we will analyze how our business has been hurting one of the Earth's most precious habitats, the ocean. Then, we will analyze three stakeholders that we have determined to be highly salient in the fight for sustainability. Our customers, environmental sustainability NGOs, and our suppliers. Through a stakeholder perspective, we will offer Best Buy a call to action that includes changes that would improve Best Buy's sustainability and position these improvements to grow Best Buy's revenue. We hope to convey to the board that Best Buy can do well by doing good for the environment and the oceans. Oceans provide humans with over half of the world's oxygen, act as a large source of food, supply millions of jobs, and have been the key to creating many life-saving medicines. With polluted oceans, the human population will suffer. It is estimated that humans dump approximately 1.4 billion pounds of trash into the oceans per year. This is destroying the health of oceanic species, which will in turn harm the health of humans and destroy local economies. Currently, millions of seabird and fish species are dying each year as a result of pollution. Plastic has been found in about 60% of seabirds, in about 100% of sea turtle species, and more than 25% of fish sampled from seafood markets around the world. Businesses are a significant part of this vast problem, but can also act as a significant part of the solution. Sustainable efforts have the power to enha enhance profitability and will create new value sources to put Best Buy on the forefront of the industry. As a technology retail giant with the ability to impact millions, Best Buy should take action not only to set an example how important it is to take care of our oceans, but to also realize cost-saving benefits from greener operations. This higher organizational purpose will also provide drastic internal benefits to the company culture and employee pro productivity that will make Best Buy a better place to work and shop. Many successful businesses subscribe to the stakeholder theory, which advises businesses to consider the viewpoints of various parties who are affected by or affect the actions of the firm while making decisions. In some cases, these stakeholders form coalitions, joining forces for a common goal. In regard to Best Buy's relationship to UN Goal 14, Life Below Water, we have found customers, sustainability NGOs, and suppliers to be highly relevant stakeholders with diverse interests, degrees of power, and salience. We will start by diving into our customers, specifically those of college age. These students are market stakeholders who interact directly with Best Buy through purchasing electronics and tech or home appliances for their academic and personal needs. They are an external stakeholder since they do not work within the firm. College students are highly salient stakeholders since they have the economic power to choose other companies for their technology needs. Satisfying these customers and maintaining their business is essential to Best Buy success, especially since college students themselves will continue to have technology needs that Best Buy can continue to address and because a large portion of these students shop online, where a lot of Best Buy's revenue is generated. It is clear that a large portion of college students care about the sustainability efforts of firms. Through a survey conducted among the undergraduate population at the University of Michigan, we found that 85% of respondents use sustainability success as moderately to extremely important for firms. However, two-thirds of survey respondents were completely unaware of current Best Buy initiatives. We as college consumers want to feel good about doing business with Best Buy and sustainability success has been increasingly important in our decision making and consumer behavior. We challenge Best Buy to take a larger role in environmental efforts as well as to develop technologies that will prepare the company for sustainable growth. 
environmentally sustainable NGOs are also relevant stakeholders. Across the globe, many organizations strive to make the world a greener, more environmentally friendly place through activism and other efforts. Today, we'll be focusing on Greenpeace. Founded in 1971, it's the largest nonviolent direct action environmental organization in the world with 2.8 million members. Greenpeace's work focuses on climate change, oceans, forests, toxics, nuclear energy, and sustainable agriculture. This organization is a non-market stakeholder, but they are still salient. Their largest powers are informational and political, as they gain popular support by publicizing sustainability issues and rallying the public. The ability of Greenpeace to reach our consumers is significant. Speaking on behalf of this group is easy. Corporations must do more to utilize their resources and reach to help solve the environmental apocalypse we are witnessing. Suppliers are another relevant market stakeholder for Best Buy as they are essential for maintaining Best Buy's vast product line and delivering goods to our customers. This group may demonstrate some resisting interest from the NGOs and customers in fear of costly restructuring changes that would affect their supply chain and internal processes. However, suppliers also understand the need to be conscious of the future, and many, like Microsoft and Apple, are already focused on sustainable value creation as opposed to just value preservation. Our focus today is on small Best Buy supplier Itron. Due to their smaller size and limited amount of capital expenditure for sustainability, they want Best Buy to share the burden of restructuring and incentivize their work towards sustainable change. If Best Buy would be willing to aid their supply chain efforts to be more environmentally sensitive, suppliers would be ecstatic to continue with the increases in sustainability. They would benefit from, from cost-saving implications without having to entirely take on renovation risks, all while doing good in the world. The main power of suppliers is economic, as they can refuse to supply our business or even start distributing to our competitors if certain conditions do not appeal to them. Due to Best Buy's size, the threat of suppliers refusing to supply us has fairly low salience, so their demands are not fatally important. Yet, it is so important to recognize their perspective and how we may mitigate risks if we do decide to enact changes that would support their desires of going green with our help. Encouraging a greener supply chain would not only have very positive implications for Best Buy's reputation, but it could save suppliers in cost and waste. Due to the similar desire of increased environmental protection efforts from Best Buy, consumers, NGOs, and suppliers have formed a somewhat unnatural stakeholder coalition. These stakeholders are more powerful together than independently, and through their coalition, could apply immense pressure to Best Buy to make changes. This coalition will couple the NGO's vast information network and the customer's buying power and the supplier's infrastructure to be extremely powerful and salient. Management must seriously consider the desires of this coalition or risk losing a large market share. We have decided to adopt the views of the Customer NGO Supplier Coalition to suggest pertinent changes to Best Buy's operations. We believe this call to action from our coalition and the recommendations suggest below will be largely beneficial to the company's bottom line because the companies who do best in the long run are those who combine both doing well and doing good. Best Buy should continue to reposition itself in the industry to appeal to the co coalition's call to action and meet other salient stakeholder needs. Best Buy has not only been working towards implementing environmentally sustainable practices for some time now, but it has already earned awards from the EPA for those practices. Yet these efforts are still not widely recognized by the company's customers nor the general public. The company has seen success with its marketing efforts at the regional and national level through television, direct mail, print media, and internet channels. We believe Best Buy should leverage these diverse channels to highlight Best Buy's sustainable missions and educate people on the changes we are making. Sustainability is important to not only our customers, but also, also for the world's future, and we believe Best Buy has the audience and reach to influence the environmental behavior of consumers. Ultimately, we hope consumers will link the Best Buy brand to environmental sustainability without hesitation. This strategy could successfully increase Best Buy's revenue through this new added reputation to attract more customers and enhance relations with suppliers and other organizations that would further promote the Best Buy brand. Additionally, Best Buy could address those customers who have indicated a lack of interest in this matter and demonstrate its importance to hopefully increase online or in-store traffic as well. Moreover, with an investment of over $371 million into e-commerce and information technology segments this year, we anticipate extra packaging plastic and cardboard to contribute to waste currently produced by operations. We strongly recommend the creation of a recycling program that's accessible both in-store and online via a click here to let us help you recycle link on the homepage. This program would strategically provide information on Best Buy locations where customers can drop off recyclables that would otherwise be disposed of as waste. Participation in this program could be incentivized through gift cards and various other promotional offers and products. 
This customer cycling initiative would pair well with Best Buy's recent expansion on its in-home advisor programs, as well as its upcoming new Geek Squad launch that provides ongoing support for customer technology issues. Along with these programs, we also recommend adding recycling services where both programs could collect and properly recycle any broken parts or packaging used from repairs. Lastly, Best Buy should challenge current suppliers to meet its sustainability demands, sharing the burden of restructuring with these suppliers. One of Best Buy's competitors, Walmart, recently challenged their supply chain to mirror sustainability updates by preferencing suppliers to improve sustainability. A key component of this challenge was the creation of a sustainability index, which judged each aspect of the production process to determine the product's sustainability. This information was potentially harmful to suppliers who performed badly and incentivized them to improve. As a result, Walmart used its massive reach to improve the sustainability of companies they worked with, as opposed to taking on the problem alone. Evidently, the industry is becoming more competitive, especially as other major competitors have undertaken expansion programs and registered consolidations involving mergers and acquisitions. Best Buy needs to continue to add to their customer value proposition to stay afloat. This is one way to disrupt their current image and keep up with competitors to drive more sales. Based on the current sustainability efforts of Best Buy, we created a sustainability portfolio that maps the strengths and weaknesses of the current model in red. With the carbon emission and recycling goals set for the future, the growth path and trajectory region is the strongest, while the areas for improvement lie in cost and risk reduction and the innovation and repositioning of the company. Through our call to action, we hope the company will continue to enhance its reputation and legitimacy through increased promotion of its environmentally sustainable efforts to customers while leveraging its ability to promote those efforts with new initiatives for recycling at both the customer and employee level. These initiatives will ultimately contribute to maintaining and improving ocean ecosystems among other environmental benefits. Now we would like to thank you for hearing out our call to action and we hope that you seriously consider our recommendations.